Ah, there it is. <laughs> hey, Fire Games. Can you find my mouse? It's hiding in the snow. a horror game? It doesn't look like that. It looks apart. That's the best kind. It, it deceives you. It makes you feel all comfortable and happy until you see what horrors lies within. <laughs> I know where your mouse is. Really? Because it looks like it blends in just nicely. I know it's a little stuttery, but it kind of blends in, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, uh, let's, uh, click off of this so it doesn't annoy me on the side. There we go. Well, it was in the upper corner until it starts moving along with the, with the, with the debris, the debris of winter. <laughs> Alright, I guess I don't need my mouse in this. I need my keys. There we go. Alright, those that come in late, we'll see if anything is late. Those that are here early, get the first part and then watch the VOD later or, or whatever it is on YouTube. Here we go. But, uh, keys. Okay, that's that. Z and X are usually the keys, so. New game. Debris. <laughs> Prologue start? Yes. We will get everything. Everything into this video, and you can guys all see it. Because, like I said, I've seen this before. A long time ago. Many years ago. And, I want to relive it. And share it with you guys. How come it's going upward, though? That's true. Why is it going upwards? Yeah, that's my cousin. I told you I was hanging out with my cousin Kiwi. That's him. <laughs> Here we go. This game contains frightening elements. Young children and the faint of heart should refrain. Slow down with the text. Not everyone's past reading. Scenario. Illustration. Sen. The production tool was Wolf RPG Editor. Graphics. Area of Fantasy Chips. First seed material. Loose seed. Les, uh, saw of resources. I, I can't read all the rest. Never heard of wind that goes up into the sky. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. It's supposed to be horror. It's supposed to be horror. Now we only have the glow on my face. And the stripes in the background. Those beautiful stripes. One, two, three, four. There's a few more up there, but you can't see them. Three hours. Jesus. Not sure. But we'll see. Huh? I didn't look. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's say it's just magic. Yes, just magic. Hmm. Probably gonna need it soon. You're probably going to want to have a better angle of this, right? I can't watch. I can't hear anything. <laughs> it's not going to be very scary. Uh, probably. <laughs> Alright. Miscreant's Room. Presented by Miscreant's Room. Sickness is withdrawing. All that fire within you is burning away the sickness. Mad Father. No. <laughs> Music is super nice. Nice. Sorry. Noise. Oh. Wait, do I have to press a button now? Yes. Out of all that auto, it has its own, uh, it says, all right. Hello? Father? <clears throat> Don't let 
that from my young girl's voice? No, just like how at first you're like, hello, I mean, hello. <laughs> <coughs> Father, are you in there? Father. Aya, how many times have I told you not to come down here? Sorry, Father, but um, I'm too scared to sleep in my room. Sleep on my own. Aya, don't worry. You're never alone. Your late mother is always there by your, at your side. She's always watching over you, Aya. Okay? Now please, get to bed. Yes, Father. Good girl. Father, tomorrow's... Yes, the anniversary of her death. We'll visit her grave together. Okay. Now back to bed, please. I'll be resting to you shortly. Okay. Your girl voice is decently, um, sound like a girl. Stop! <laughs> Convincing. Oh, I'm glad. No! <laughs> help! Oh, wait, that's wrong. Right, so, I, there's no indication of whose <laughs> voice it is. Help me! Help! Are you convinced yet, Fire Games? I know Father's secret. My father is a scientist. He loves research and is always locked up in the lab in the basement. Oh! Oh wait, no wait. Never mind, I was wondering if I got cut off. I have always heard things at the, uh, from that lab. Animal and human screams. Stop right there, Colonel Sister! His voice is perfect! <laughs> Okay, good. It's not cut off. He, even at a young age, I knew that my father was. Uh, what, I knew what my father was doing, so I pretended I wasn't looking. That I didn't know or hear anything. I feigned ignorance at the whole time because I loved father. That's not the only secret I know. When Mom and I weren't around, he and his helper... A fine sample. I shall dispose of the remaining materials myself. That can wait. Come, Myra. Doctor. Doctor. The mistress is aware of our relationship. Hmm? What does that matter? I don't believe she's fond of me. That is the problem. The girl will be 11 soon. It's the troublesome age, to be sure. Be kind to her, please. Ensure that she never comes to harm. She is my most precious. So, your character is a 10-year-old? 11-year-old. Oh, you said almost. Oh, that's true, that's true. Fire... Firemus, 25, welcome. How I forgot. Gah! <laughs> it's midnight. Today's the day my mom went to heaven. Mom. Now that I'm thinking of mom, I can't get to sleep. Oh, wow. What are you doing? Big up hearing noise. <laughs> That's getting annoying really fast. <laughs> That's if I keep doing that to you guys. <clears throat> the full moon is pretty. Just like on the day mom died. Yeah, it's gonna get annoying. Your favorite doll. A doll I got from father. It's so old and worn. Gonna get a close up? Oh no, fast flashback, okay. I brought you a present, Aya. Yay, a doll! Thank you, father. Holy eyes! <laughs> <laughs> what a pretty doll! Says some. It's almost like it's real. Oh, that doll looked like that, um, other 
another woman. Apparently, uh, women in this game, it's been so long, but apparently some women in this game is, have that kind of eyes. That wasn't the only feature. <laughs> <clears throat> um, full moons don't follow dates, though. If a full moon is today, for example, it won't be the next year in the same day, because logic. Sorry, log, no, log 8C. <laughs> <laughs> And I can say that 100% surely because I observe the moon often. Awesome. I mean, interesting. I mean, all fat things. A plain dresser. Fantastic. Horace the Traitor. He's having a little jingling. Bling. Every time I click on something. Sorry, my sister's here watching, but she can't hear nothing, so. Snowball. The pet rabbit. Yeah, I, can, is there an option? To... <laughs> Why is that the sound? <laughs> I'm trying to pause. I heard that. Oh, you heard it? <laughs> Here's snappy snap snap. <laughs> A portion of mom. Mom. What should I do, mom? I do love father, but... Is that supposed to be her mom? Yes. Why is that so... <laughs> People have certain... Breast? <laughs> tastes in what art they want to do in games. I don't think it's taste. <laughs> she scares me. He. He scares me. Oh, wait. She's... I'll keep reading. I was not sure which I said last time. What I read. She's always looking at me with those eyes. I hate her. Okay, it was a she. But I know father likes her. If father and her got married, I guess she would be my new mom. I don't want her to be my mom. I don't need a new mom. There's only one mom in the world for me. Mom, why did you have to go? At least they give uh, your character some speed, because some games, you walk extremely slow. Did she die or leave? You'll see at the end, or in the game. You'll see. No, like, did they mention anything that she died? We all had some light. Just some. Just, just, I'm a silhouette. <laughs> this one makes it terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Father will be mad if I go out again. Okay, fine. We'll go back. I don't think I can fall asleep. Then what do you want, little one? <laughs> the red-eyed stranger. Oh, hey! Huh? Something fell out. What's this? You got gem. Gems are hidden in various places. Some require doing special events to get. You can see your gem count in the menu. Find them all and... And what? You'll be rich. Oh! You get more of a migraine, I think. Maybe that was just a little sound that pings in your ears. The room feels cold all of a sudden. Sorry, I thought it was narration. I'm kind of scared. I should get back to bed. Good night. Welcome all that just arrived or are coming in or settled down, eating popcorn, sitting in bed, all that stuff. You sing so well, Aya. Can I turn around, Father? Just a moment. That was interesting. <laughs> Just put this here. Yes, I'm finished. It's finished. Boink! A flower crown? Does it look good on me? No, it looks horrible. I made it for to make you look silly. Is it supposed to be a bow? Mm hmm. <laughs> I made it to put on you to make you look silly. <laughs> yes, I think it suits you well. What colors do you want the uh, the experience? Blue and white, looking like a fuzzy, furry, furry thing. 
Yay! Thank you, Father. I'm sorry I can't always play with you. Father. Hello, my chisel. Welcome. It's all right. I'm glad I could play with you today, Father. <coughs> oh my! You two are you two are playing, Mom. Look, Father made me a flower crown. That's wonderful. It looks great on you, Aya. So you played with him all day? Yeah. We should do this again, Father. Yes, we should. Next time, your mother should join in. Well, I'll look forward to it. <coughs> Mom. Blue and white. But, but... I'll go. Go what? Go where? What? <laughs> I was making egg, avocado, baby spinach, sandwich. That sounds delicious! He was asking what color you want to come Yeah. I know, but he said, but, but, I'll go. Go where? <laughs> go change? Go, uh, go change again or something? Oh, it's this game. Yep! Join in! Sit down! Get comfortable! <laughs> it is, uh, delish. Either way, sounds good. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Just another fit. <clears throat> Don't push yourself if you're not feeling well. Are you laughing at me? No, but... <laughs> I'm doing my best, okay? Um. Still eating. <laughs> Come. Let's get some medicine from Myra. It should help you get better. No. I can get it by myself. Mom, are you hurt? You're okay, right? Sorry to worry you. I'm perfectly fine. Don't look so anxious, please. Aya, your smile keeps me going best of all. If I can't see you smiling, it only makes me worry. Mom. Okay. Now, let's get back for dinner. I made sirloin steak tonight. Your favorite, Aya. Hooray! I love mom's steaks. Right, father? You're asking your father for your favorites to be confirmed? <laughs> if you like it, you like it. You don't need confirmation. <laughs> I love this food, right? No. Oh, I thought it's I did. Confir <laughs> it's confirmation for the mom or something. <clears throat> the dad looks like uh, Kyota from Orin High School Host Club. I have missed that. I've missed seeing that series. I love that one. <clears throat> uh, I forgot the name to face, so maybe he does. I uh, I'm not doubting you. I just it's been so long since I've seen that, so can't really confirm on my end. Kiss, kiss, mommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, her steaks are the best in the world. Have you tried every steak? <laughs> okay, who's saying this? I don't know what voice. I'll just narrate. We were. Oh, it's her. We were so happy then. There was Myra too, but even so, the three of us were a happy family. But then mom passed away from illness. And that happiness we had then, well. Is that nails or very loud clock? Ah! That was definitely not clock. <laughs> Did you hear it? I only heard the clicking. What was the last sound? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> tink, tink. Ah! <laughs> Can't be scary this way. <laughs> mm. All right, I'll take a look. Oh! Hmm. Is that one of the main characters? I think he is. Whoa! Ah, nope. There we go. Huh? That scream. Father? Something must have happened. I'll go check on Father. Whee! 
I have a bad feeling. What's the sound? Is it a voice? This way. Who's that? Over here. Is there someone there? Yes, that's why I'm talking to you. Someone doesn't just talk out of nowhere. I just don't understand. You're uh, uh, illegally laughing in a horror game. Stop. <laughs> that's a nice stitches. Ten out of ten. Who are you? This way. Really? Who? Stay with me. Oh, I said God. this way. <laughs> ah! Oh, can you not? <laughs> huh? Who are you and how'd you get my room? It's Tamaki. Uh... Still names to faces. But that still does sound like one of the main characters. Yeah. I think I'm getting the face. It's fuzzy, but still there. <laughs> okay, rotten version of Kamaki. <laughs> You've seen the side face? It's Tamaki! Uh, come with me. Oh! Rotten Tamaki. <laughs> Missing an eye of Tamaki. <laughs> Who's that? Many interesting books in this room here. Do you like books, my dear? Who are you? Now, don't be so aggressive. I'm merely a salesman. That just wandered into your room with zombies about. <laughs> salesman? At your service. <laughs> Call me Ogre. I hope to get to know you, young lady. <laughs> Looks like a mommy boss. <laughs> By the way, is the music too loud for you guys? I did turn it down. Uh, for you guys, but on my end, it's quite, quite loud. There's no options. Um. But it's quite troublesome to think that corpses loiter around the house. Okay, salesman four seven. <laughs> Thanks for the sins. Huh? Ah, uh, that's true. It's quite loud. Yes. Okay, I'll turn it down. I just needed to confirm that. I need to confirm that. All right, let's. I turn it down a decent notch. How about that? Is that good for you? Did anyone get that joke? Uh, no. Salesman forty-seven. Thanks for the sales. I don't. Okay, thank goodness. I don't want to blare your ears out too. <laughs> Shall I talk with my mouth full? <laughs> Corpses. Those monster back there? <clears throat> no, I won't. I feel like while I'm talking, the beans are gonna pop out of my mouth. Good jokes. I can use a joke. Just no one laughs. They're like creatures from a story. Why would monsters like that suddenly? Well, it's a curse. What you saw were the corpses of your father's test subjects. How do you know this? <sighs> Overcome with anger, these deceased have been brought back by the power of a curse. Salesman set 47 equals agent 47. He's a paid assassin that is bald, pale, and wears suits and every to everything. Still not what? Sorry. <laughs> They're just zombies. Hit them in the head and they'll stay dead. <laughs> These are not just normal normal zombies. These are cursed zombies. To take revenge on your father, of course. What? So father is in danger? I have to save him. Why is that? Your father did evil things. Why do you want to save your father? I love him! Demented child. <laughs> Do you know the game Hitman? I heard of it. Don't know it. Never played it. Don't want to play it. 
That's why it doesn't uh, refer to me. I don't play it. Towards his own ends, he has killed countless people as part of his experiments. This is his retribution. You must have realized by now your father's true nature. And yet you wish to save him? Um... Yes! I guess I mean yes. <laughs> my, my. Perhaps she cannot yet understand their suffering. I don't have to worry. They're cursed and adapt to your father, not me. So I'm good. I can walk loiter around the house myself. Uh, do you know the zombie origins from voodoo, right? No. I just know voodoo is a way that you take a voodoo doll, you curse someone's essence to it, you start stabbing with pinpricks, and it starts hurting them too. Make them dance on, on your own. I had to save father. A crow? Where do you fly from? How high is he? The window was left open. <laughs> In the hallway? Gang logic. <laughs> Thank you! That specifies everything. <laughs> it's... It's Sebastian. Uh, Black Butler. I have not seen that yet! Ooh, tell me. Since you are an anime watcher, can you tell me, is that good? Is that a good series? I want to watch that with my sister, or by myself if she's too busy, but I want to still watch anime with her. Is that a good series? Awesome! Can't wait to watch it. Voodoo can be protective, too. Depending, yeah. Don't watch the second season. I'm pretty sure there's a reason. <laughs> Say you use a needle with a vaccine or antidote. You can save someone linked to the voodoo doll. Hmm. Okay. By the way, uh, Mishizzle, um, have you seen Madoka Magica? It's short, but... And sad, then happy at the end... Kind of still sad, happy, but still, have you seen it? It's completely made up and doesn't follow the manga. Oh, the real second season is called The Book of Circus. Oh, it's a really good series. It's short, but uh, you should watch it. But yeah, I'll let my sister know. Book of Circus. I might have to refer to you on that again, but let's continue. <clears throat> I'm hammering my save files. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to annoy you guys on purpose. Sometimes. <laughs> Holy, give him back! Give my daughter! Mmm. Mmm-mm-mm. <laughs> Proceeds to make a song. <laughs> medicine with father's dish. No, with father. Fa, fa, which father? Uh, medicine which father uses. Got archives key. I can't. I can't. I can't sit on the pillow. <laughs> it's locked. I don't know the code to unlock it. Lots of hard to read books. Lots and more hard to read books. She doesn't have a butt. That's why. Eh. Oh, I thought the I thought the carpet was squishy. Nope, you're squishy down there. Down there, sweetie, squishy. Quiet little altar. The clock is stopped at midnight. Crap. I can't. Her can't sit. <laughs> oh, she doesn't have a butt, so she gets sit. Okay. Use the archives key. How'd you get in here without the archives key? Riddle encyclopedia. Oh, wait, what the? I saw you in the peripherals of my vision. Where did you go? The flame egg. Huh? Oh, I remember this book. There's a girl who has the mysterious power to control fire. 
and she goes on a journey to find the family she's been separated from, proclaiming, burn all those in my way. She did exactly that to all her foes. But I think in the end, her power got out of control and destroyed the world. So she never met her family in the end. She was all alone. A poor girl, all alone. If I lose father, I'll be alone too. I don't want it. I have to save father quick. Hmm. Control fire? Where is that girl? <laughs> Are you sure that story is for children? Father, you were a responsible man. <laughs> there are handwritten notes in the front. Humans are beautiful, but that's beauty soon fades. That is the law of this world, but I haven't overturned it. After years of research, I have found eternal beauty. A body that will never fade, even in death. A body has as flesh is uh, as it was in life. Uh, a body as fresh as it was in life. They have eternal beauty within their grasp. Lots of hard to read books. Fire games. Well, there's no doubt you'd be a firebender if you were an avatar. <laughs> Can you guys guess which element I would bend? Oh, birdie. Birdie, birdie. A diary. Maybe. Zanuary Zith. <laughs> this is a nightmare. How could this have happened? Kill the bird. Just like... Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> the rest of pages is unreadable. Earthbender or airbender? Hmm. That's two guesses in one. Be specific. You can't double guess. Otherwise, you'd be going air, water, fire, or earth. It has to be one of those, right? <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, I am. Now, which one? <laughs> And old, uh, old books on the uh, occult. The occult! Lots of hard to read books. Airbender. Data on live experimentation. Oh. Would be cool. Maybe it would help me if I were one to be, uh, to, and uh, to probably help me against my uh, fear of heights. Uncomfortable with heights. I wouldn't say fear of heights. It's uncomfortable with heights. Is it? Is it the same? But no, that wasn't the, uh, the initial. My friend and I joked that I'd be the avatar since every time I take avatar tests, it ends up with different results. Sometimes I'm water. Sometimes air, earth, or fire. Your opinions change. Or maybe they just keep randomizing it regardless. Doesn't matter what you pick. And do some of the uh, are some of the questions uh, that make you turn down the firebender path? Does that involve I have a burning passion that I want to destroy things, or is it I actually have a burning uh, a burning passion that I want to help people or something like that? Is it all positive, or are there some mean, nasty, soul uh, crushing uh, question uh, answers options to choose from? You could also be a <clears throat> no, <clears throat> no, that's evil. <clears throat> No. Ugh. There's something stuck in here. You got code memo. How are you gonna go? Mama, Mama, it hurts. Help me. Help. <laughs> it's mostly, uh,. It's mostly mean. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> but it's been a while. Bloodbending is waterbending. Yes, waterbending, I don't mind. But I would not intend to do bloodbending unless in dire situations where I'm being attacked, then maybe. 
But even then, maybe not, because it, it's just, ugh. Having it introduced inside of a kid's show sounds horrible. Ugh. You're just manipulating the water in your blood or whatever. But you're being forced, so it feels weird. But seriously, if you can move and bend the, uh, the blood inside someone's body, you can make the blood stop moving, and that can kill you. I have a fear of falling. I'm, uncom I'm comfortable with height. I'm afraid if I can see under my legs. So, for example, if I'm dangling my legs off this cliff, I'd be afraid out of this world. Like, Katara! Yeah! That nightmare fuel! <laughs> hey, Carp, how you doing? You're a little late, but not too far in. Father? I want to go home. I want to see Mama. Don't worry. I shall take you to her. Once this is all over. No, I want Mama. I want to go now. Mama, Mama. Don't fret. Everything will be fine. We just wish to test this medicine. It may hurt a bit, but not much. You'll soon feel much uh, such relief. No! Mama! Stop! <laughs> Stop! I don't want this! <laughs>